Hello and welcome to the first event of the season for the Clutch Pro Tour. This week we're at the beautiful St Melian and the players are going to be playing on the Nicholas course. This week we're going to see some interesting scores as I think the course is going to be pretty challenging with the wind getting up as the days go on. We're looking forward to seeing some familiar faces this week and we're going to see how it all pans out. Good luck to all the guys playing and we'll update you as it goes on. The first hole here at St Melian, one of the toughest opening tee shots on the Clutch Pro Tour calendar. It's 418 yards, it's down the hill slightly, and a southeast breeze is down off your right hand shoulder. Left is no good, you'll feel like a mountain goat if you end up down that bank on the left hand side. And right, well, everything can kick in, but the rough is so juicy that that second shot might end up coming out like a North Korean rocket. We're down in the first fairway. The boys will be hitting probably a four iron off that first tee this morning, especially if it's on a southeast down breeze. The right hand bank on the right hand side, this can kick it into this lovely, lovely flat plateau area for your second. The left rough, it's kind of wet, it's kind of juicy, anything can happen out of there. And over the left bank, oh, that's the absolute danger zone. The second shot, it's a lovely panoramic downhill into a tight, tight, small, small green. With the flag situated at the back today, long is an absolute no-go miss. If you're gonna miss the green, you've gotta be short of the flag to give yourself an uphill chip, but you're better off trying to hit that tight, tight green. The putt will leave you all the way up the hill. You take four and run. Good morning and welcome to St Melian for the opening event of the 2023 Clutch Pro Tour. This is game number one. On the tee, Logan Vidovich. On the tee, Robert Noon. On the tee, Ian Clark. Sure. Play well, guys. our clubhouse leader, Sasha Lobel. He shot a round of 68, which is four under. Can you tell us a little bit about your round today, Sasha? Yeah, I got off early in the morning and um, was able to put my second shot on the par five on 12 on and two, made birdie there and just started getting it rolling from there. Um, made birdie on 14, uh, a lot of pars, par bogey free today, which is always mm -hmm. a huge plus. Uh, so yeah, um, just a really good round and really excited. And was there a moment today where your mindset kind of changed and you were like, I'm going to go for this now? Or were you just playing it relatively safe? Um, well, I hooked one in the hazard on two and I was pretty disappointed in that shot. I made good birdie on one and then um, just kind of cooled myself down and was able to make par from there. And that's when the mindset sort of changed. I was hitting it really nice, putting it really nice and knew that um, you know, mistakes were going to happen, but as long as we can recover from them, they were going to be, uh, you know, manageable, so. And lastly, this is your first season playing golf in the UK. Yeah. How are you finding it so far? <laughs> uh, merry old England. It's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, people are great. Uh, the golf courses are great. And 
you know, we're just having a blast over here and it's a real pri privilege to be able to play golf over here and in Europe. So oh. couldn't be happier to be here. Well, thank you very much, Sasha. Uh, we're looking forward to see how you do tomorrow Great. and hopefully on the final day. Thanks. So we've come to the end of our first day at St. Melian. Currently at the top of the leaderboard is Harry Ellis with five under par. He finished with three birdies in the last five holes to shoot 67. It's been a tough day for a lot of the field, so let's see how tomorrow pans out and see who can make the cut into the final round. We're down here at the seventh tee box. This morning featured group. Tee box has been pushed up one today. Easterly breeze back into the player's face. Paul Maddy now, the goat. He's going with the old school play. He's got the iron out. I like this for Paul, such a good wedge player. Last year's win around St. Melian. He's a ways back, but he'll trust his wedge game for sure. These are the balls of Paul Maddy and Giles Evans after hitting an iron off this par five tee back into the breeze today with this easterly breeze. You can see what the players are left with here. These boys are going to try and wing it up the right hand side there as far as they can. That front pin location today, maybe even give themselves a full wedge so they can put some raz on it and get it coming back to the pin. I don't think he quite got all of that iron off the tee. It's back into the breeze today. It's really up. He's pulled the persuader out, the three wood. He's going to try and wing it up the right hand side there. That's a beautiful flight. Third shots now into the par five seventh. Paul Maddy absolutely in the mayor's office after that three wood up the hill. This is where you want to be, folks. Maybe looking at about 90 yards up the hill into the breeze out of the right tier behind the pin almost want to worry that you're not going to put too much spin on this see what he can muster up here lower flight trying to draw it in drill it ah oh, that's lovely see how he's just taking the spin off of that that is a superb i back him to make that folks you've heard it here first just outside the right You heard it here, folks. You heard it here. So I'm here with our clubhouse leader, Ollie Huggins. Can you please tell us a little bit about your round? I know you finished off two under, which was actually our best score this afternoon. Um, tell me about your round, please. Um, yeah, it was great. I just tried to uh, just hit as many fairways and greens as possible. And if I hold some putts, then great. If I didn't, then don't be annoyed, it's fine. Um, yeah, and I finished off quite well with a nice chip um, on the last. It was a good lie. so. It was, it was nice, I thought it was going to go in, but there you go, pass fine. That's all right. Do you have um, a particular strategy going into tomorrow? Uh, basically the same as what I normally do, just try and keep it as simple as possible um, and just, just keep doing what you're doing, really. That's the end of it. Yeah, well, well done, Ollie, and thank you. And we have come to the end of a very windy second day at St Melian. At the top of our leaderboard, we have Ollie Huggins at minus two, Harry Ellis right behind him at minus one, and we have a three-way tie for level par. The current cut is at seven over, so let's see who can lift that trophy tomorrow. Good morning, and welcome to the final round of the Clutch Pro Tour at St Melian. On the tee, Harry Ellis. It's the 18th tee here at St Melian. This is a hole that is absolutely brutal. It's going to be won or lost on this tee. It's 470 yards of real estate this hole and all of it is tough. If you're standing up here with the one shot lead, 
Let's hope the sweaty hands aren't in play. There's Oscar Bravo way left. Can he take the bunker on? That's a big ask into this breeze. This is going to be won or lost here. If you're coming down the stretch, this is the mayor's office on 18. You've ripped it down here. You're in the middle of the fairway. You've passed the bunker on the right-hand side. You're standing, well, we're standing here. It's about 160 front edge. Pin today is back left. Sunday special. Over the water, that's obviously the no-go zone. And the bank will kick anything down the right into the water on the left. If you bail out right, that's not an easy chip shot up and over the hill down to the flag. Can you join the greats? Severiano, Ballesteros, Olathabal, they've all done it round here. Can you? 18th green, you've hit the green in two. You'll be aiming at sort of this area down here. If you can hit it flag high, pins back left today. This is your bailout zone, but this swell takes it all the way down into some juicy, lushy rough down there. That's not fun with a chip all the way back up the hill. The players, if they're aggressive, they'll be trying to get it in sort of this area here with that pin back left down there. You'll be hoping to give yourself a little roll and a putt for the win. Come on! Maybe even the jump in the lake if it's warm enough, but it's not going to be. Good luck, fellas. Bring it home. Brooks has just passed through on the 10th. He is currently one under for the tournament and two under for the whole day. Jake Burnage. Jake had a wonderful round today. He shot four under to win the tournament with two under par, winning by one. This is the first event of the season on the Clutch Pro Tour Tier 1. Do you have anything to say, Jake? Delighted. It's a good start, shall I say. A um, lot of hard work gone over the winter, um, very long winter, and we all think we've been excited to get out and get start playing again so you know the four events that the, the guys put on for the spring series was a big step um, so getting prepared for this exact week uh, still early in the year so the weather obviously wasn't great but you know the guys did a great job and yeah it was just nice to get back into tournament mode and you played the course last year did you come in this week with an ideal score in mind you never know what you're going to get. It's, all the weather can just change very dramatically, as we've seen over the last couple of days. Um, so uh, you can try and set one, but just shot by shot, cliche really, but that's, that's how it goes. You had a wonderful back nine. You had three birdies on the back nine. Can you tell us a little bit, was there a moment where you decided you were in contention and that you were going to go for it? Not particularly, I think. Uh, you try. I try not to score ball watch too much, because if you see that, you can make a few funny mistakes I think with that um, but 
I think after all three of us birdied 11, we sort of knew we were all under par. And then from there it was, okay, who's going who's gonna to beat who? So it just really just played against each other and it was just whoever gets closest on each other will just apply pressure on everyone else. Congratulations, Jake. We hope to see plenty more of you and well done again. Thank you. So that brings us to the end of the tournament here at St Melian. We had a wonderful winner with Jake Burnage shooting two under. A huge thank you must go out to the whole team at St Melian for allowing our event to be such a great success. We are looking forward to returning with a Challenge Tour event later on in the year. Next week, we'll be heading off to Fulford Heath to play the Red Course. So we'll see you there.